Welcome to the Beehive mobile app, your all-in-one interface for calling, video, text, voicemail, and team collaboration. Let's take a tour. At the top of the app, click on your profile picture or initials to access status and availability, settings, logout, and more. In status and availability, you can let your teammates know when you are available, away from your desk, or when you prefer not to be disturbed. Click Edit Profile to update your name, phone number, job title, and department. Select the plus sign to add a profile picture. Back on the home screen, at the bottom of the app, you'll see five navigation tabs for messages, calls, videos, contacts, and voicemail. Let's take a look at each tab. Message or chat is where you will land when you log into the app. Here, you can see all of your chats and sort them by recent and unread. Click the plus sign to start a new chat. When you start a chat, the app will provide a list of your corporate directory and group contacts. Now, let's have a look at a message interaction. Here, you can see the entire conversation history, including messages, shared content, video calls, and phone calls. It's easy to differentiate between sent messages on the right and received messages on the left to keep track of your conversations. The chat displays the date and time of each message within the message card, and the communicator will group messages under the day header in the middle of the screen. If you want to reply to a specific message, long press that message and type your reply. This feature shows the recipient what message your reply is for which can help improve your chat communication. You can pin and unpin any message, sent or received, by long pressing the message. All pinned messages can be easily found at the top of the message thread. To send a message, simply type your message into the box at the bottom. You can attach a file or a photo. When your message is ready, click the arrow to send. You can initiate a group chat by selecting the plus sign. This will allow you to include the person you are currently messaging, name the group, add other team members, and write a group description. At the top, you can also start a video call or a phone call, view their contact information, and mute notifications. You can also quickly identify if the chat conversation is from a text message by the SMS display. Like individual chats, group messages display the date and time of each message, and group messages under the date header in the middle of the screen. You can reply to a message, pin and unpin messages, and view all messages, shared content, and calls. If you want to leave a group message, click the ellipses and choose Leave Group. Any group participant can remove another member from the app. From this screen, select View Group Info. Click on the member's name and select Remove Member. Next is the Calls tab, where you can see all of your recent and missed calls. It's easy to differentiate between incoming and outgoing calls by looking at the arrows located on the right-hand side. At the bottom, you can access the dial pad to type in a number to call. When a call comes in, you'll get a push notification on your phone. While you're on the call, you'll have the option to mute, show the keypad, place the call on hold, adjust your audio source, transfer the call, or add another person to the call. Now, let's go to the Video tab. Here, you'll have access to your private meeting room. This is a persistent meeting room that you can use for regular meetings. Simply copy the URL and share. You can start a meeting with a single tap. In the meeting, you can select to mute or unmute your microphone and turn your camera on or off. Select the ellipses in the bottom right corner to get meeting info, start recording, chat, view the participants in the meeting, and send reactions. To leave the meeting, tap on the phone icon. Under History, you can access your meeting history. You'll see the meeting name, date, time, and if there was a recording from the meeting. Tap on the meeting to see the meeting details and attendees and view the chat history. Select Share Recording to copy and share the recording link with others. The Contacts tab is divided into Favorites and All Contacts. Tap on any contacts name to chat, start a call, start a video conference, or view their contact details. 
Scroll to the bottom to access your phone's contact settings to import contacts from your phone into the Beehive app. The last tab is Voicemail. You can view unread or all voicemails. Select the play icon to listen to the message. You'll also have the option to download, delete, forward, or change your audio.